heavy metal frontman, airline pilot, and now brewer. Iron Maiden's Bruce Dickinson, a man of many hats, has decided to turn his hand to beer. The original idea was that they'd just slap a label on it. I was like, we can't do that. You know, we, we've got a reputation to keep up. And anyway, I like beer. Why don't we really properly create our own brew? And thus, Trooper was born. I wanted a beer that punched above its weight in terms of flavour, but which didn't knock you on your ass in terms of alcohol content. Not content to put the band's name on it, Bruce got involved in the brewing itself, applying his characteristic geeky perfectionism. Real beer, it's not an industrial process. It's more than that because it is genuinely an art. The bitterness content of the hop changes every season. Yeah. So how do you make a beer that tastes the same when the ingredients change every year? Bruce obviously likes it, and looking at the numbers, the fans so far agree. Trooper has quickly beaten all expectations. Plans are underway to ship the beer to more than 180 countries around the world. Here in the UK, it's on track to double annual sales for Brewer Robinsons. We're all used to being flooded with choice at the supermarket. The beer section is no different. There's so much choice, even if you know what you're looking for, it can be hard to find. But if you're an Iron Maiden fan, you know that artwork when you see it. And that's the pulling power of Trooper. People will say it's a gimmick. Yeah, we don't, we, don't, we don't bother about people who say it's a gimmick because they obviously haven't drunk it. You know, we have the power of, yeah, the brand of Iron Maiden. But if you open the bottle and you taste the beer and you go, Bleh, that's the end of your branding, sorry. Yeah. And that reflects really badly on us. <laughs> Rosie Tompkins, CNN, London.